as we all know that uh, HTTP is a state protocol. So that means that they have to go with every request. So should you use SSL for everything required authentication? Uh, so those are the questions I need to ask ourselves. So how do you test for a session management flaw? For example, if the session ID is not well handled, if the session ID, ID can easily be snipped, if the degree of randomness is low, so then that application is vulnerable to session management. It's both, both vulnerable to... So, so how do you deal with this? You need to verify your, your architecture, and you also need to look at the, the check your SSS uh, certificates using it are different tools that you can use. You can use public SSL checker, examine all the authentication related, related functions. So, so let's conduct some simple tests on that. So you need to analyze the use, the mechanism used for managing session and state. Check if the application use session tokens or some other method to handle requests from users. If the application uses a session token, compare which data are actually used to re-identify this user. To verify session tokens, find a session dependent page or function and make several requests for it. So now we want to do some brute forcing to see whether uh, the application is not uh, vulnerable to so let's let's conduct this exploitation. So in this lab, we will uh, we introduce us to the use of Bob Suits. So Bob Suits is a one of the tools that are used for to conduct a web application penetration testing. So there are quite a number of uh, you can use OAP Zap as well. OAP Zap also as a proxy is a web application. Across the kind of so I will quickly introduce us to Bob Suits. So Bob Suit is available on your Kali, and you can also download the community. Then the one it's available on your Kali is the community edition. Anyway, so for you to assess the tooling, I think it's on the web application analysis. You click on this. So these are so for you to use a Bob suit, you must uh, set your proxy first. You must make sure that your browser uh, listening to the Bob suit. But the new version of uh, of Bob suit, you don't need to go set up the proxy uh, because you can actually open the browser. From your Bob Suit application. But if you are using a old version, you need to set up the proxy. So the proxy for you to set up the proxy, you come to options. So you look at the if your application is if you don't have any port 8080 by default, uh Bob Suit proxy is 8080. But if you have a web server already on your system and it's but it is in juice. You can edit this. You can change it to another port. So having done that, you go to your web uh, browser settings. You look for proxy settings. You open your computer proxy. Sorry, hold on. Click on proxy. You come here. 
you switch on the manual proxy, you specify your address and you specify the port. You save. So any request that you send from the web browser would be be directed to your uh to your to your Bob Suits application before you can proceed with that. So that's how to quickly set up the and we have various modules that you can leverage on. If you are using a professional version of uh, box suits, you can use it to scan your web application for vulnerability. We have the intruder module, we have the repeater module, we have the sequential module, we have the coder module. You can take your time and play with it. So for the purpose of this class and demonstration, we want to just leverage on the intruder module to automate the brute force attack on uh, on our web application. So the application that I want to brute force, I think is uh, is atorumutra.com. So what we need to do, you go to, we want to brute force whether we can even get the username and password. Whether you can, you don't know the username and password. You just type anything. Before you click on login, the request will be intercepted by your pop suit. So I'll get into your pop suit. You see the. Sorry, you see the request here. You can see the request here. You send this request to an intruder. You click on send to intruder. So when you've done that, this request, but before you set the position, before you set the position, you first of all clear all the position. You now place your mouse, you you highlight the user ID, you click on add position, you highlight your password, you click on add. So definitely what we want to do, the type of attack we want to do is we want to do cluster bomb attack. Make sure that you specify the attack. So having done that, you come to the payload. On the payload, you, if you have your username dictionary, you can open up your username dictionary. You copy it and paste it here in the position one, which has value for position two. I have a password dictionary. I copy all this password. I paste it here. Definitely is to be a simple. So you click on start. So depending on the speed of your system, if you take a while, a new window will be displayed. But because of our, because of the time, I will have please started this before. Coming here before starting the class. At the end of the day, it will the application will scan through the various possible below one at the compares admin password, just me password, whole password, user password, user password. It is scan through. But for you to know the the right user, uh, if you see the right user, it will take time because the length are multiplied. So you order by time, by length. So if you order by length, you pick the one with the highest length. So that means that uh, the length for every other one is 145. For, for this one, 
So that means that we'll be able to, if you look at this, So one of the username and password is admin, admin, and another now username and password is pass uh, to user. So let's see, let's go through this response. You can view your response. You can send your response to show response in browser. I show this response in a browser, right? So let me stop the. I want to stop the proxy here, uh, intercepts here. Uh, so you can see. Is for the first users. So that's for this particular user. So let's do the same thing for this guy. You can say right click. You can show requests. In browser as well for the second one. So what that means that we're able to put force two of the username admin. There is a user called admin and the password is admin, and then the user called T user and the password is T user. So I'll give you some time. Can you choose any username of your choice, username dictionary or password dictionary of your choice, and try the same thing with uh, this application? But uh, where is this listing again? Let me show you. You can try in with the uh, OWASP multi, uh, multi, 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 the die application 